Hi guys, welcome to codominance and multiple alleles. So uh, we will be looking at at those today, but our previous video has uh, cut off on the dihybrid cross. So let's quickly come back to dihybrid cross. So those were our two characteristics. That's the offspring that we produced uh, in the previous video. So uh, to work out now the phenotypes and the genotypes, we will uh, get the ratio 9 to 3 to 3 to 1. So that's really important. So we will have green and small uh, individuals, which are shown here. So all of those blue ones, okay, we've got nine in total of them, are green and smooth. Uh, three of them are green and rough. So for green and roof, we will be looking at the uh, at the individuals that got at least one dominant uh, allele for color green and uh, two lower cases S. Okay, so those are our green and roof. We've got also uh, three of the yellow and smooth. So for the yellow and smooth, we need two of the uh, recessive alleles. So two lower cases G and at least one of the big S's. Okay, so we've got those here. And we've got one yellow and roof. So two lower cases G's and two lower cases S's. Okay, so at the end we are getting ratio 9 to 3 to 3 to 1. So that's dihybrid cross recap second generation. Okay, so let's get started with the codominance. So codominance uh, is the situation where both alleles will be expressed in the phenotype. So how can we then uh, write them down? We can write them down with the um, capital C and then uh, our uh, alleles that stands for the characteristic will be written down as to the power. Okay, so that's the alias for red, that's the alias for white. Those are our parents that we will be crossing, so red and white individual, and the gametes that they will produce in the same manner. So this is similar to the monohybrid cross because we're only looking at the one characteristic, so we can just chop it in half. Remember, gametes are haploid, so hence we're only using one of the Alleles. Okay, we're putting those in a Punnett square and we're working out the genotypes of the offspring. So in this situation, 100% of our, uh, our offspring will carry one of those each alleles. According to what the codominance is, both of those alleles will be expressed in the phenotype. So the red and the white flowers are going to give us pink flowers. So in the first generation, we are going to get 100% of the pink flowers provided by a genotype CRCW. So let's have a look what will happen in the uh, second generation. So remember that box stands for the uh, ratio that you will achieve in the second generation. So that will be 1 to 2 to 1. So alleles not changed. Parents, now we are using two pink individuals. The alleles, that, uh, the gametes, sorry, that they're going to produce will have one of the, uh, of the each allele. And here we've got a mistake because it should be CRCW, CRCW, sorry, we're of course using two pink ones. So we're chopping that in half. So those are the alleles, okay? In the table, the alleles are correct. So, sorry, it's incorrect here because I've used wrong parents. Silly. So, those are uh, the gametes that we've used from those uh, parents, okay? So, as you can see, in the, uh, in the Punnett square, we've produced uh, offspring. And this offspring will give us a ratio 1 to 2 to 1. So, what we've got here, we've got a red flower to pink flowers and one white flower, okay? So that's really important that you remember the ratios. It's one to two to one, okay? Multiple alleles then. So what do, uh, what do we know? Of course, that the gene has many forms, okay? But some of them might have more than two alleles, and then we call them multiple alleles. 
So the example of this is the inheritance of the human blood group. So we've got A, B, and O. So those alias are associated with gene I, in, uh, immunoglobin gene, and they, uh, which lead to the presence of different antigens on the cell surface membrane of red blood cells. Okay, so how does it work? So the allele I, uh, A leads to the production of antigen A, A, B leads to the production of antigen B, and uh, I, O leads to the production of NAD. Okay, so in terms of the blood groups, if you've got A, B, A, B, O, O, those are the possible genotypes. Okay, so having group A, you can have a, a, a gene I, allele I with the uh, antigen A or AO. Same for B. If you've got AB, you've got uh, I, uh, A, I, B. And if you've got group O, you've got just, uh, uh, just the genotypes with the uh, symbol O. So how does it then work? So let's have a look at a quick example here. Okay, same as the monohybrid cross here we are chopping this in half remember because this is your uh, parent okay uh, the genotypes of the parents the gametes produced by those of course we're chopping them in half because gametes are haploid you're putting this in a peanut square and you are go going to get your offspring in this situation the offspring will be uh, 50 50 so we will get a ratio one to one uh, of the uh, offspring with group A and group B. So let's have a look at this example now. We've got the group A and we've got a group B. So in this situation, the gametes produced will be uh, IAIO for the group B parent, IBIO. Okay, once we put them in the Punnett square with the idea that the gametes of one parent goes on one side, second parent on the other side, here we will get ratio 1 to 1 to 1 to 1. Where is this coming from? Of course, because we are going to get four different uh, blood groups in those individuals produced uh, by those parents. Okay, so that's everything for the codominants and multiple alleles. See you later.